After nearly 17 years in office, Jeff Fortenberry is no longer a U.S. congressman. Fortenberry's resignation took effect today. He stepped down after his conviction in federal court one week ago tonight. He could face a maximum 15 years in prison for lying to the FBI about a foreign campaign donation. Sentencing is June 28th. Now, Nebraska must fill the seat for its first congressional district. To get the ball rolling, Governor Pete Ricketts must call for a special election. His office says they won't announce the date for that until tomorrow. As KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon reports, some local election commissioners are feeling the pressure tonight. Fortenberry's resignation took effect as Congress adjourned tonight, but that didn't happen until a few hours ago. So the governor's office delayed its decision until tomorrow. We will wait till tomorrow. Until then, election commissioners across District 1 wonder when this election will be and how it'll work. Answers that Fred Mitty is waiting for in Dodge County. Special elections like a school district bond issue, they can be by mail. And I don't know if we have that, if he has that capability on this one. When Governor Pete Ricketts calls the special election, the work falls on District 1 commissioners. And so will the bill, at least for Dodge County, which Mitty says will cost tens of thousands of dollars at the end of his fiscal year. It's going to be probably for us uh, close to $70,000. Fred Mitty says Dodge County is the second largest county in District 1, but when it comes to expectations as far as voter turnout, he isn't expecting much. Recently, when the county voted on the recent school bond, only about 35% of the county voted by mail. It's a lot of work for a winner who only holds office until January. Mitty and commissioners spent Thursday scanning websites, waiting for the word, and maybe some help. I wish they could figure out a way that they could use American Rescue plan money or something to reimburse us. Three candidates announced their intentions to run in this special election, including state senators Mike Flood, Patty Pansing Brooks, and Air Force veteran John Glenn Weaver. Each party will have to nominate one candidate to appear on the ballot.